today i'm going to be showing you guys my new settings to use here for season five as you guys know with every single update i'm bringing you guys my brand new settings that allow me to be the player that i am in terms of visibility graphics and controller settings and just give you guys a little insight on how i do play modern warfare 2 if you guys do end up enjoying today's settings video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel I want you guys to comment down below if you are enjoying season five so far uh in my opinion i am enjoying it just a little bit because it is something new to use but as you know this game is this game but besides that enjoy today's settings video here for season five so for the graphics settings you want to throw on the full screen exclusive for the display mode this is your monitor whatever monitor whatever numbers that will be it'll be here for display monitor display adapter in other words my graphics card i do have a 3090 ti my monitor is a 240 hertz monitor i did get this a bottom month ago a couple weeks ago i did get this new monitor um i have one obviously i play 1440 um display resolution that is off that's pretty like standard i guess you can say we have on the vsync gameplays that's all off that's default custom frame rate basically sets unlimited echo mode this is definitely definitely something very new that's just to the default to how it is that's going to be pretty much everything for the settings for display as you can see they added hdr which is definitely a new setting to this game so far i don't know why they even like doing that but for the display or the, for the graphics for the quality our piece is going to be on 100 in other words it'll be on 100 whatever you play on so if you play on 1080 this will also be on 100 still like if i lower this it lowers down like the actual scene but my monitor is supposed to be 40 so it'll be 100 upscale we have on that cast full of le fx that's going to be set on 100 as well it's just making the game look better and more sharpening so definitely do that to help your game look way more crisp you have one the anti-aliasing that's going to be filmic smaa t 2 x that's going to be the default you have one the anti-aliasing quality as normal as well uh now for the details and textures this is all it's called looting you don't need to have your settings extremely cranked especially if you want more frame rate so basically everything's going to be on normal and low as well nothing's going to be too like outlandish because i don't need anything to outlandish because like i said it's call of duty so we have one of a couple settings that's just basically everything is on low i mean you can't even deny that everything is basically basically on low but the main thing i do want to show when it comes to this is going to be these post processing effects this is make sure this is right here can like mess up your gameplay and stuff like that and in my opinion makes you a better player that the field make sure that is off because it will make the game blurry at a certain amount of ranges so you definitely make sure this is off you have when the world motion blur make sure that's off as well no one no one likes motion if you like if you like motion blur then obviously that's used called personal preference at the end of the day but motion blur it just makes the game blurry whenever you try to move around and be quick just turn it off so you can see everything as is a weapon motion blur is basically the same thing but just more so on a gun and when you do combine these two as these two together right here basically everything is just blurry and the game is just it's just not enjoyable same thing for the film grain as well make this lower so the game doesn't look too like bright and light i guess the best best way to put it would be loud it'll look too crazy especially with all the motion blur going on so make sure all these are off because they definitely will affect how the game does look for you but now for the view settings my field of view and fov is going to be 120 it's the max i love 120 fov ever since i've been on pc or just you know console has it as well but i love 120 120 just gives you that advantage in terms of just being able to look around and see things from a wider range and it definitely does help with recoil as well that's where the ads field of view comes from that's where it's going to be on affected when you, when you do 120 and affected bro it gets rid of visual recoil for you right now so that's just my opinion and i yeah, i'm pretty sure it has been proven as well it's just zero visual recoil on these game on these guns with 120 and affected for the weapon field of view that's wide that's just set the default third person field of view that's on default as well same thing with the vehicle field of view all these camera settings and stuff like that are just set the default so basically do have those settings set the same and i did not touch any of those at all so now we're going to go to the audio settings for the volume or audio mix obviously headphone bass boost make sure it's bass boost so you can hear everything this is basically everything that i have in terms of audio i knew i use nothing special i don't have nothing crazy to where it's like i can hear better like the whole sound eq and stuff like that no i have astro's a40 with the mix amp it's basically all i have i have astro a40s with the mix amp that's my headset uh for the mod for the volume it's going to be set to 70 that's just obviously personal preference obviously i don't want the game blaring in my ear so i just lower these to how i feel 
most comfortable with. So, and for the speakers slash headphones, that's just based on the default device of the system. But if you have plugged in, that'll that's what it will be set to. Or you can change it as well, but I just have it set to the default as well because I didn't I didn't want to do that. For the speaker output, we put that to stereo. For the voice chat, like I said, these are all personal preference to what you want to hear. I'm just showing guys what I use and stuff like that. Just talk as well as personal preference. Same thing right here as everything with whatever mics you have plugged into your PC or into your console. That's what will show up there. Accessibility, all default as well. Subtitles, I don't think you need subtitles for pubs. Me personally, I don't use them obviously as you can see there. And we have, of course, the audio, music, and stuff like that, and sound effects. And honestly, I think switch up the games. Like, I don't want to say pacing, but just switch up, like, make it a little more fun and more satisfying. I put my hit marker sound to classic, giving it the old school Modern Warfare 2 hit marker sound. I've been using this for like months now, and I love it. And to, to be completely honest with you, I forgot how, the, how this game's original hit marker sound is because I've just been using the old MW2 hit marker sound. So I've been enjoying that. If you're going to do that, you can change that as well. And that's going to be it for the volumes and the audio settings that I have for Modern Warfare 2. For the interface, now we threw on the menu text, going to be default. Everything is set to default as well. Text background set to default. But this is just how big you want the uh, text to actually look on your screen. Obviously, you don't want it to be huge and covering everything up. Now, for the color customization, this is where you can change like all the stuff you want. So, my character does look purple, stuff like that. Whenever you see my gameplays, like on the kill feed on purple, I just basically change that as well and just make it whatever color you want you know just have some fun with it so as you see right there subtitles that's just all default as well if you do have it on for the vertical and the horizontal heads up display that's all set to zero i didn't change any of that mini map make sure you have that on square it's very important you see how the difference on the circle and square is you see more on the map so make sure you definitely do have that it can give you an advantage when it comes to looking at your mini map when you do play the game Mini map rotation that's on that's default that'll always be default make sure you just have it on it you don't need, you don't need to turn it off it'll help you flow better and stuff like that when you're watching yourself move around on the map compass that's off if you want it on of course you can have it on i had it off for a very long time i've usually no use of the compass my personal opinion i don't use it Cross here make sure that is on as well so you can be better at centering and hit targets easier if you have to if you have your cross here off i'll be honest you're doing it wrong all right, make sure it's on. It'll help you be better and aim better for sure. Hit marker visuals. That's also per personal preference as well. Damage based hit markers. That's also personal preference. In terms of this, when it comes to player names, make sure it's on full name so you actually can see the dots above their head. And you can, you know, it's better visualization when it comes to seeing the player's name, especially when they're like dark corners or just further away. Thing definitely does help you see your targets very easy. In game text that's on as personal preference and especially the vehicle hub that's also personal preference as well center dot also the same thing as the um crosshair when you do the center dot with a crosshair you literally have the best chance of better your aim when you do this because you have the set option to center your gun every time you are in a gunfight center dot you can make it either a default size which is the first tab make it large or largest as well i just have mine on larger just keep it regular for the telemetry, this is all personal preference and what you want to see on that top left of your screen. As you can see, I have my FPS, Sirius Latency, and Packet Burst. That's really all you definitely do need. And the advanced interface is all personal preference in terms of tooltips, in terms of the skipping the introduction scene as well, and just seeing certain things on here as well that you may not want to see, but I do. And I also have one of the flash inverted because this game, flash bangs are insane and just probably not even legal this is how bright they are you mess around go blind on this game but that's going to be it for the interface tab now we're going to my controller settings my input is going to be on controller obviously uh we have on the these are actually this is actually a new settings menu prompts controller so that's this probably one for like keyboard mouse people for people who play on pc so it doesn't switch back and forth to like controller and stuff like that because it will lock you on pc sometimes so Button layout that's going to be default as well. I didn't change any of that, but in terms of this, this is going to be set to tactical flip because obviously I like to shoot with R1 and L1. That's where you flip this one on right here so you can shoot with R1 and L1. The tactical flip allows you to slide with L3, and you mainly with circle. But I do also have a scuff control, so we'll put that out there. So my paddles on the back, I jump with the right paddle and the left paddle, I melee as well. Uh, this is also for war zones, the same thing. Custom button layout that is going to be off. <laughs> The bumper paint that's off as well. Controller layout is all default. Controller vibration is going to be off because I definitely, definitely can't stand vibration. My sensitivity is going to be seven 
seven for vertical and horizontal. The best settings, you, the best sensitivity you can use in this game, in my personal opinion. And everything, that, every, and everything that you see here is all default. I didn't change none of these. All these are the same, and stuff like that. And nothing here is on hold. I didn't change none of these at all, except except the um sprint, which is automatic tax sprint. In other words, I'm not breaking my stick to run. I just move it forward, and I'm automatically just tax sprinting as well. And all these are just set to default as well. So now we're going to the advanced tab. Aim is going to be on, obviously. Aim assist default. We have on the aim response curve type. It's going to be dynamic. Dynamic is the best thing you can use. I say it every time because it's literally the best thing. And everything else is going to be default as well, except for my dead zone. My Your dead zone is what you change based on your um stick drift. And you adjust to either higher or lower depending on how much stick, your stick drift you actually do have. Um and yeah, everything else is default. This gyro settings you might not even have this if you are on console, but everything is set to its default. So if you have these settings, you, they are most likely the same as mine. Nothing has really changed here. Yep, these are all default. Everyone has the same sort of settings and, and the same thing as everybody else. So there's going to be my settings to use here in Modern Warfare 2. I want you guys to comment down below what's your sensitivity in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys did enjoy today's settings video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.